So I'm gonna give you um, some masking tips. This is another do, part of my do series. And this is one thing you do wanna do is use the proper tape when you're masking on the flooring. One of the previous painters, there's white speckles on the floor because there was no paper drop cloth, but there's also you know, paint onto the flooring. So you wanna use frog tape when you're masking on your flooring so you don't get any bleeding you know, underneath um, underneath your trim under the floor. But one of the big do's is do use frog tape yellow when you're masking on any type of um, wood flooring, engineered flooring, because you don't want to pull off the finish. Frog tape yellow is a delicate um, surface tape and it's designed to be used on wood flooring so you don't pull off the finish of wood flooring. So I'm gonna mask, start masking here on this flooring. I'm gonna just get my tape tucked up underneath this flooring the best I can. I'm gonna ride it up against, up against my trim as tight as I can. I also like using an inch and a half tape because then I'm gonna put paper over the top of this. So I'll get any drips onto my wood floor. So now once I get my tape on there, I'm gonna ride my five and one along my tape. This will tuck it underneath the flooring right here, underneath the uh, trim, and it'll actually press it down. So if I'm painting with like a white paint, it's not going to bleed you know, underneath and get on my flooring. I wanna get that tucked up, up underneath there. The fingers themselves, aren't sharp enough to actually get under there. I, I like using the two edge five in one because it's um, kind of got a nice soft edge on it that I can run underneath and tuck underneath. So I'm gonna continue masking, then I'm gonna go, it over, go over it with one inch paper, uh, orange production frog tape, and nine inch, um, or one inch tape and nine inch paper. I'm masking a corner, I'm gonna show you I'm gonna get up into my corner right here and I'm just gonna tear my tape farther. I'm gonna run my tape up higher, just like that. I'm gonna tuck it. I'm gonna push underneath. So it goes underneath my trim right here. And then great thing about the two-edged knife, it's got a knife on it also can trim it off. Now I got myself a perfect corner right there. I can use these pieces of tape. I actually tore my tape right there. Use that to fix it where I tore it. And that's gonna be masking my flooring. One of the cool things about this project is, um, one of the trends is walls are painted the same color as the trim, ceiling walls. We've been testing out this dark color right here. This is gonna be on our trim and walls and ceiling. So now once I got my floor masked off, I'm gonna use, you could just try to you know, put your drop cloths up against this, but you're gonna be walking on the drop cloth ladders inevitably, it's gonna scoot and move away from your trim. So I just use nine inch paper and one inch tape and I just use frog tape production tape. This is uh, less expensive tape versus your um, delicate service tape right here. But one thing I don't wanna do is get the adhesive onto the flooring. And this is one of the reasons why I use inch and a half tape on my flooring is I'll take my paper and I'm gonna tack it up close. It's keeping it off my flooring and onto the yellow delicate surface tape. It's like that now, I can just set my drop cloth on. I've got a lot of room, the drop cloth can scoot around and stuff, and it's gonna still stay covered, just like that. All right, so we're gonna continue on masking here. And one thing, you know, I typically always keep a brush, a duster brush, or any type of paint brush, because I wanna dust off my trim, dust off the floors. If you have any dust debris on the floor and you mask and tape over it, you, it could cause you know, a hill or valley that your um, paint will bleed underneath or the masking just won't stick properly because the floor is real dusty. So I'm gonna dust off this whole section. Another thing I like to do is I have a small sh um, shop vac, a little um, Bosch battery operated shop vac. I'll vacuum along here too and that will help pick up the dust, but still dust it off. 
and then begin my masking again. And we wanna get our masking up tight. I do got some white paint that's bled onto this flooring. You know, when I'm all done painting, I'm gonna try to clean that off. So I'm gonna run my masking up, up the trim right here, just like that. We're gonna cut it five and one. We wanna get a perfect line. And then I'm going to, once again, tuck it underneath, run my five and one over it so it gets a tight seal. I'll just continue right on masking here. See when I'm masking, I'm pulling out, you know, about a foot and a half of tape and I can move it, manipulate it to wherever I want. Get it up just up against that trim so it gives me something to tuck underneath. Definitely want to take the time to get this right. The previous painter's got paint bled all over the floor and you don't want that to happen again. There, I just tore my tape. So I'm just gonna repair that real quick. It's one thing about the delicate surface tape. It is a thinner type paper, so it will tear a little bit easier. So you just gotta be careful when you're riding your five and one over it. You have paint on your elbow, or tape. Really? That's kinda weird. I've got my inch and a half tape down. I'm gonna put my paper down. Just make sure that orange tape does not touch your hardwood floor because it could pull off the finish. This is a three day release uh, tape right here. So um, you do want, don't want it to be on any surface more than three days.